Hi, welcome to Fractal Bitcoin. I'm Chris. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, let's get to our 10 second price update for Bitcoin. All right, this is the weekly chart zoomed out, shows you about from 2016 to 2024. You can see the trend. The current price is 43,610. Wonderful. Let's move on to the news. This is Diana Mondino on Twitter. She is the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Argentina. And she says, we ratify and confirm that in Argentina, contracts can be agreed in Bitcoin. Yeah. So you want to talk about adoption? Let's talk about adoption. All right. And she followed that up with, and also any other crypto and or species such as kilos of steer or liters of milk. All right. So this is, this is good news. This is a country, a literal country saying that, you know what? We're going to let the people do whatever they transact in whatever currency they want. All right, let's move on. Bitwise put out an advertisement for their Bitcoin ETF. Of course, the Bitcoin spot ETF, a lot of different uh, investment firms have, have applied for the Bitcoin spot ETF. And when that gets approved, it should be in January or probably at the latest March. There's going to be a lot of money, a lot of institutional money flowing into the Bitcoin space and making the price go much higher. Let's just watch this real quick. You know what's interesting these days? Bitcoin. Look for Bitwise, my friends. Oh, yeah. So, okay. <laughs> Adoption, you think? And and Derek Ross here on Noster wrote, uh, the institutions are coming and they're going to put their advertising campaigns behind it. Will we see a Super Bowl ad for a Bitcoin ETF? I wonder. What's up, Derek? This is another piece of news here. This company called River, and I don't know much about this, but I just saw it. It seems amazing. The River Link is the future of sending Bitcoin. I don't know if you've ever thought about sending Bitcoin to anyone, especially a non-Bitcoiner, right? Someone someone who is not into Bitcoin at all, how do you send them Bitcoin? Because in order for them to receive it, they need to set up a wallet and all this stuff. Well, to, ultimately to receive Bitcoin, they're going to have to set up a wallet. But now Riverlink is basically, look on the bottom right here, sending Bitcoin with Riverlink. Enter the amount you want to send, create the Riverlink, and then text or DM or email the link. So you can literally text your family and friends, if you want to give them some Bitcoin, you can literally give them Bitcoin through a text or an email. And then, of course, they're going to have to click on it and actually receive the Bitcoin. But this is cool because it makes it easy to receive Bitcoin. Now, yeah, last night and, and again tonight, they're having, uh, it's like a two-day concert series. It's the Value for Value Tour. Uh, last night was Just Loud and Ainsley Costello performed. And they streamed live on uh, Zap.Stream. But basically, it's a, this is new and exciting stuff here. They're basically streaming a live concert. And, and the viewers are zapping Satoshis and supporting these artists. How much are they supporting? Well, here's Ainsley Costello. She said some interesting info. Zappers from Toonster.io, 3 million sats, which is, I think, around... $1,200 or $1,400 from RSS, which is a podcast value for value, 3.6 million sats. And then Cash App and Venmo. So this is the future for artists. I don't know why more artists aren't embracing this. They, they are, but slowly. Uh, and here you have Just Loud, the other performer, 375 sats for just a practice show when no one was supposed to be watching. He was literally doing a sound check and I, don't, I guess they were streaming it. And he, people were zapping and he got 375,000 sats. Amazing. And it was streamed on zap.stream. I don't know if you're familiar with that platform. Really cool. By the way, here's a little Bitcoin logo that I had uh, some AI create. I thought this was cool. I mean, it's silver. Whatever. Anyway, I thought this was cool. And if you're listening to the audio only podcast, um, you can you can check out the. It's just it's a basically a Bitcoin logo, but futuristic and it's silver. Uh, all right, let's move on to Flare.pub. 
you know, in terms of the Bitcoin ecosystem and Noster, uh, you know, people are building a lot of apps. They're building an app that's like Twitter. They're building apps that are like uh, Subscribestar, like like uh, crowdfunding apps. And they're building all different types of apps. And people have been saying, when is someone going to build the new YouTube based on Noster and value for value and and zapping Satoshis? Well, it's here. I think yesterday or today, yesterday it launched Flare.pub and... You could see people are uploading videos and it's brand new. So don't expect it to be this. Don't expect it to be as smooth as YouTube. Okay. But flare.pub. I even set it up on my phone as a, a PWA, a little, a, a, like basically a, it, a little shortcut on my phone. So it opens in a browser. I'm so psyched to check it out. And to end on something funny, let's watch this and I will, uh, I'll read the subtitles. Uh, you know what? Let's just watch it. Para que vaya a recoger la paellera. Y me acuesto el sub. Ya para abrir el restaurante que era el arroz. Y me llama el cocinero. Risita, ¿qué? Ve por la paellera. Venga, que las dos de la tarde ya están aquí. Miren, bañador. En las chanclas. Todo despeinado porque no me dio tiempo de nada ponerme las chanclas. Y el bañador. Voy a la playa, había subido la marea. <risa> <laughs> yeah, so there you have it. That's today's uh, Fractal Bitcoin news update. Please subscribe. Please share the show. Please support me. I'm starting to do these videos every day, but that's it. We want to, I want to make these updates pretty quick. So thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.